Just got the tracks back from my mixer, Martin. He spent about four or five days working on them, and I'm going to have a listen to them now for the first time since they've been mixed. I wanna talk about the vlog for a second. I've done 10 vlogs already, and I'm not doing this just so you can see what my daily life is like. The purpose of this vlog was to create more. I love creating things, and I wanted to do it at a really high frequency, and so I thought a vlog every single day would give me a great opportunity to edit video, shoot more video, learn something new, and to keep my mind occupied while I'm songwriting and building my music career. I'm going to try to let you in more to my music career and the things I'm doing, my songwriting process, the things I'm doing when I'm not songwriting, like the business side, the marketing aspect of it, because I do a lot of that on the side that I think a lot of other musicians or even entrepreneurs might find interesting. All right, going to Entropy Collective right now. It's about a 25 minute subway away. 40 minute walk, but I'm gonna take the subway today going to see the latest edit of the music video. What's going on? Glad. How are you guys? Good. Good, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. At Entropy Collective right now. What's going on? Sebastian, we are going to watch the one of the final edits of our music video. I can't film this for you right now, so we're going to watch it and then I'll tell you about it after. Now leaving Entropy Collective. Great meeting with Sebastian. Sebastian was the director of photography on the music video. Music video is looking great. We just have to do some final touches on color grading and things like that, and that will take about a week or so, and then we'll be released um, around the same time that the, the first single decisions will be released. So I'm playing a show at an art gallery tonight. It's two artists that are putting on a show, and I am one of the two featured musician acts and I get to play for half an hour all of my own songs and um, yeah I'm really excited to do that. What a big day. Resist the temptation. Okay I just got back at home have my guitar here, I'm doing some songwriting. One thing I'm going through right now is how difficult it is to write songs when you've already produced songs in the studio. I've come up with a few ideas already today and yesterday and this past week that I'm just like, don't like at all because they're not as produced as what I've been listening to lately, which are the songs that I'm about to release. So right now I'm gonna have to pick up this guitar and um, start writing. Actually, what I really need to do is rehearse before the show because it is a concert and I am like one of the two main acts and so it needs to be really good. I'm a little nervous to play this gig actually because it will only be like 30 people or so, all artists. Sometimes artists can be very critical. It will likely be sit-down concert, people very focused on your guitar playing and your singing, so there's no room for error. It's not like a show when you're playing in front of, you know, 100, 200 people where mistakes come and go, people don't really notice, and you get to interact with this, the audience a little more. And this is the art gallery that I'm playing at. Cool. 
Hey. All right, so we're all set up. The art gallery show looks super cool. There's like a fireplace and everything. Actually, I'm just gonna show it to you. Let's go. are mixed they're in place going in the right direction the music video is awesome going in the right direction topped it off of the show now I'm gonna spend a couple hours editing this new vlog for tomorrow and call it a wrap <laughs>